Most of what we've talked about last semester and so far this semester is old physics. Newton was doing his work in the late 1600s. Young, uh, of the Young's double slit experiment fame, was doing his work about 1800. Um, James Clerk Maxwell was doing his work in the mid 1800s and Heinrich Hertz verified the predictions of the wave nature of light in the late 1800s. Today we're going to move into the uh, 1900s. In the year 1905, Einstein was a patent clerk at the Swiss, Swiss Patent Office. And during that year, he produced three seminal works which threw all of physics on its head. One of those pieces of work was the theory of special relativity. And we'll talk about one of the other pieces of his work, the photoelectric effect, for which he received the Nobel Prize. Einstein did not receive a Nobel Prize for his theory of special relativity, but it is vast and very, very important. And, and it shows an amazing depth of, of desire of Einstein to dig deeper into understanding of our physical world around us. I am privileged to be able to teach this to you, and so let's move ahead. To understand the theory of special relativity, we have to first understand about events and inertial reference frames. So we're going to define an event, a reference frame, and an inertial reference frame. We talked about this when we talked about Newton's laws in chapters 4, 5, etc. last semester. Uh, but we're going to be a little bit more precise about it in this chapter. An event. What's an event? It's a physical habit. It's something that happens at a certain place at a certain time. That is an event. I clapped my hands. What was the time? It was 1.16 p.m. on uh, Thursday, March 9th. And what was the place? It was right here where my hands came together. That's an event. A reference frame. is a coordinate system, x, y, z, and a clock used by an observer to record events. So I could have uh, an x, y, z coordinate system set up somewhere and then measure the x, the y, and the z values for the locations of my hands where that event uh, occurred. And then on my clock, we already gave you the value of the time at which it occurred. So that's a reference frame. And the important thing is that the coordinate system and the clock are at rest with respect to the observer. This is important <laughs> in understanding. So if I'm the observer, then I'm, th I'm going to think about an x-axis coming out of my belly, uh, a y-axis going um, to this direction, and, and a z-axis coming up. And that coordinate system follows me around as I move through space. I'm the observer, I've got a coordinate system attached to me that moves around with me. Then what is an inertial reference frame? Oh, and I also have a clock that moves around with me. I've got to have a coordinate system, I've got to have x, y, z, and t, four dimensional. And here's my clock right there. So an inertial reference frame is a special reference frame this is where the Einstein's special theory of relativity gets its name. It's because this reference frame is special. And it's a reference frame in which Newton's second law is valid. F equals ma. When is it valid? Um, in an inertial reference frame, if the net force on an object is zero, then its acceleration will be zero. You say, well, Duh. But, um, and it will be at rest or moving at constant velocity. Well, what if you stand on an elevator? Then um, there's, from your reference frame, you're actually in an accelerated reference frame, and Newton's second law is not valid because in that reference frame, the, the, the reference frame itself is accelerated. 
OK. Uh, here's an event, a space shuttle liftoff. Where did it happen? It's right here. It lifts off from a certain place at a certain time. But different observers can see it differently. An Earth-based reference frame, so this guy is standing here with his clock and his coordinate system that are observing that liftoff versus a plane-based reference frame that uh, has a different x-axis, x prime and y prime and z prime, and his own clock. So there's two reference frames that we can observe the same liftoff. 